chairs of Canada Goose. Well, they're down, I'm told. After the cold weather, apparel posted an earnings beat for the second quarter, but slashed Q3 in full year guidance as they expect COVID-19 restriction in China to continue negatively impacting performance. Not a bad quarter for Cat and Goose. Just uh, going through it, uh, I think, uh, really took me back to when I talked to Daniel Reese over at the Goldman Conference a couple weeks ago. The man seems to be good. China appears to be the weak point, though. Also, inventory, no big builds there. So not a hugely big red flag, but, I mean, it's squishy. I, I don't know. This is not what you want to hear from the CFO. Jonathan Sinclair mm -hmm. telling analyst, um, it is extremely challenging to project the bulk of the year's trading based on merely a few weeks of visibility, but recent events impacting trends are not supportive well, of our original <laughs> outlook, <laughs> outlook. Not supportive of our that original sucks. outlook. That's not what you want to hear. I mean, far less people are going to have the money at least to spend and, and because Canada Goose had been trying to get more into kind of the average consumer, even though it's a very pricey product, the affluent consumer continues to kind of uh, attract towards that. But there are new kind of trendier fashion jackets, coats, outerwear that is taking on more of that market share that Canada Goose once held on to strongly. However, I will say I've never been so confident turning a corner in New York City during a winter. Same here.